Okay, so just a few basic neutron star facts. I've mentioned some of these already. Uh, neutron star, the mass, it's quite massive, typically 40% times more massive than the sun. And that's not as intuitive a number uh, for everybody. So uh, if you want it in uh, Earth masses, it's about half a million Earths. That helps you out. If you take half a million planet Earths, but you take all that matter and you crush it into the size of a city, uh, so the typical neutron star radius we think is about 10 kilometers. Uh, so here, it's, here it is relative to the island of Montreal, where McGill University, where I'm from. Uh, so it's, you know, not that large a distance. So when I say they're small, I mean by stellar standards, they're, they're tiny. Uh, so you have to imagine all that matter crushed into the size of a, of a sphere of 10 kilometers. That's, that's a huge uh, density, extremely high density. So that if you went up to a neutron star, took a teaspoonful, of w it would weigh a billion tons. So it's not matter like we know of. Uh, this is neutron star matter, where the space between atoms, normally the atom where the electrons are buzzing around the nucleus, most of it is space. What we're made of is mostly space. In a neutron star, the gravity has crushed all the space out of, out of the atoms and uh, left behind something of incredible density. And on top of this, as I said, they rotate very, very fast, with the fastest one rotating 716 times per second. So you have to, oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. McGill plug there, there is McGill University on the island of Montreal. Uh, so you have to imagine uh, something 1.4 times the mass of the sun crushing the size of a city, rotating as fast as your household blender. So just to set the scale, and um, you know, sometimes at night I do a little web surfing, I was really curious about this statement and wondering, how do we compare actually to the world's fastest blender? And I... Uh, so I discovered the Vitamix 5000, which apparently is really good for smoothies. Um, Max is out at 625 rotations per second. So the fastest pulsar beats the fastest blender on Earth, and I'm very happy about that. 